Um, okay, oh, I found this question to be quite amazing. Um, I haven't really tried this one, but I, I know the way that these questions work. They all work the same and they like to throw them in. And, and let's be honest, when you look at this, you think, next question, please. It looks horrible, right? But trust me, these questions are usually very, very easy. Um, they love throwing these in. So let's have a look, guys. Um, I'm not going to say that it does this for all of them, but it's usually something like this. A plus B plus C plus D, uh, X plus Y plus Z. Usually what happens is like certain, whoopsie, certain stuff in the middle cancels. So for example, uh, this cancels with this, and this cancels with this, and this one cancels with that. And then eventually you're left with the two things on the outside or something like that. It's, it's, it's normally something stupid. Like when you see it, it's like, oh, seriously, it's nothing difficult. It's usually a silly little thing. So let's have a look. Um, okay, what, 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 what I find very interesting is this part here, sin 90 is one. So, so what this tells me is that this part over here is equal to six already. So that means that all of this needs to cancel out, right? It has to, it has to cancel out because this already is six and we want the answer to be a six. So cause zero we should know by now, or if you just type it on the calculator, is equal to one. Cos one, don't know what that is. Cos two, really don't know. Uh, cos three, who cares? Cos 178, well, let's go cos 177. Uh, we don't know, let's go cos 177. Yeah, cos 177, cos 178, cos 179. We don't know what that is. Cos 180, we do know it's minus one. You can type that on the calculator, it's minus one. Now, <clears throat> if I gave you cos of 179 and I told you reduce it, like on a cost diagram, what would the answer be? How would you reduce that? You know, like if you had to put it in the cost diagram, like 180 minus 180 plus, 360 minus, what would this become? So we know that cos of 179 is the same as cos 180 minus one, because that's 179 and that's 179. Okay, so we've written it like this. Now the answer becomes cos of one, but because cos is negative here, you put a negative in the front. So it becomes negative cos one. Okay, so now we have one plus cos one plus cos two plus cos three. Cos 177. Can you guys agree with me that cos of 177 would just become negative cos three? Cos 178 would become negative cos two. Cos 179 would become negative cos one. And then we have negative one plus six. So guys, I'm sure you can see what's happening already. Um, these two over here cancel, these two cancel, these two cancel, these two cancel, and everything in between would also cancel. So what are we left with? Six. So it's so silly, hey? Um, and that's usually how these questions work. It's something silly. You're going to look at it in the exam. You're going to think, oh, it's so difficult. Then you're going to look at it afterwards and be like, oh, seriously? So when, when you promise me, when you get a question like this in your exams, don't be doubtful or like nervous about it. Just realize it's something silly, something small. Um, and once you see it, yeah, and then just go for it and see what happens. And if you really can't, then just leave it and go to the next question.